25 years I've been living on this planet and things haven't been working the way I wanted to. I haven't found the right love in my life yet. Thought I should have already, but I haven't. And the fact of the matter is I haven't told her exactly how I felt. I haven't even told her I'm a YouTuber yet, but I don't know what kind of words to say to, to tell her I'm a YouTuber. Maybe, maybe because I'm scared to the fact she might say, can I be in one of your videos or anything? I don't need her help. I can do this completely on my own. Or just the fact I only have one testicle. I don't know how she would react by having a man with only one testicle. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I'm just... You will give the people of Earth an ideal to strive to find you. They will stumble. You will help them. I saw Justice League eight times. What? Justice League has been in theaters for a few days now, so I hope you guys were able to see Justice League and finally can get to go in depth and talk about the things I liked and go in depth for the things I didn't really agree with on the film. So, you know, did I like did I like Justice League? No, I didn't like Justice League. I love Justice League. You know, did I think it was a it was a flawed movie? Yeah, I, I had to admit that it was a flawed movie, but you know, I can't wait to go in depth. Just letting the guys know this video will contain some minor spoilers. I'm not gonna go scene by scene, but I will go in depth. So if you haven't seen the movie, then this is not the video for you. You should definitely check out my spoiler free review of Justice League in the link in the description below. But if you don't care for spoilers, you have been warned. So pretty much Steppenwolf is coming to Earth to retrieve these three mother boxes. Batman has been studying everything, trying to be studying the notes of, from Lex Luthor to figure out what are these mother boxes. Are Martha boxes! <laughs> he must join forces with Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Flash, and Aquaman to stop Steppenwolf. But they didn't really... Things didn't really work the way they wanted to because they got their asses handed to them by Steppenwolf when they first fought him. Well, they, they didn't get their asses whooped, but pretty much they didn't win the first conflict. This whole entire movie is all about hope and bringing Superman back and resurrecting Superman. And that's, I, I really I love that. I really admire the fact that they're bringing back Superman. And in Batman v Superman, Superman died, and then you saw a little bit of hint of dirt rising. And then just in Justice League, you know, reviving him from with the mother box, that kind of negates the fact that why was the dirt rising? So what's the point of the dirt rising if he's going to bring him back to the mother with the mother box? That means he was actually dead. He was actually that so I just didn't really care for that part but I gotta say that Batman definitely grew a lot from BVS you really understand what, where his mindset is he's guilty he feels guilty to the fact that he's he's trying to he's spent his his whole entire uh days since the since the accident trying to take out Superman and, and it actually cost Superman his life and Wonder Woman you know she's still dealing with the death of Steve Trevor over hundreds of years later She's trying to deal with that and trying to connect with the world again. You know, Aquaman, he's a loner. He does he don't know which one, which side he's he's on. Is he human or is he Atlantean? He doesn't know he doesn't know where to go. Flash is just doing the best he can to to prove his father innocent. So the problem and the movie did confirm the reverse flash is out there. The movie did confirm it didn't really say it, but they confirmed the reverse flash is out there. He got a in depth look about where his mindset is, you know, he just pushed people and run away. So he's pretty much Ah scaredy cat. Cyborg, definitely cyborg definitely intrigued me, man. We got we got a look of how where his mindset is that he's still suffering from you know, being half machine, half man, and every day he's being modified. And I kind of felt like this is like the side that they're are they hinting like the injustice cyborg, you know, grid when like the robotic form takes over the the uh the human side of him and he becomes a full robot, you know, because you know this the film the film this film itself does have a little bit of hints and tidbits to the injustice storyline. In the flashpoint, probably I gotta say the action sequences with the, from the crew was definitely cool. There was some a lot of scenes where I geeked out. I geeked out a lot when Superman 
when Superman fought Jeff Steppenwolf, I really geeked out the most on that. And one thing I really admire is have is the interaction that each character have. They all their egos is pretty much all on the table, and they just interact with one another, and their egos got to adjust with with another ego. I, I'm really I really love that and. And just the fact of the matter is that that Batman was pretty much, you know, teaching Flash about, you know, not, don't run, don't fight, just run, save one, and then you know. So, you know, then Flash would be like, okay, save one. Oh, that felt good. Oh, I'm going to save another one. Okay, that felt good. I can save people with by running. Flashpoint! I could really relate to Flash. I mean, Flash is in, and not this thing that Flash is in all of us. And one thing I do admire Flash, Superman's return, I is definitely iconic. Definitely, they did a good job of bringing Superman back to he once was in the comic books. He's a comic. He's not a comic relief, but he's a Boy Scout, and that's what we got from Superman. He, he they they turned him into a Boy Scout. And I, I really admire that. And I love I love his return. I love what he said when he first when he first returned to say the Justice League from Stephen Wolf. You know, I'm a believer in truth. But also I'm a fan, big fan of justice. <laughs> Stephen Wolf was getting his ass whipped. He got punched by Aquaman, hit by Wonder Woman's bracelet power, and then crashed to crash into the wall. And then he got up, punched by Superman, crashed into the wall. Punched by Superman again, got laser beamed, got then got thrown, crashed into the wall. They made Superman OP as, as H in this film. He defeated the whole entire Justice League pretty much damn near. So I did like the fact that Batman had an oh shit moment. <gasps> Clark. Oh. Justice. I kind of felt like that could have been that could have been the main plot of this movie. Batman having so much guilt of of Superman dying, he brings Superman back, and therefore Superman becomes evil minded. And I feel like that right there could have been been a better story, because it will connect better with BVS and will definitely will connect in that dream sequence where Batman had where. When Flash came up to him and telling, telling him that Lois Lane is the key. I don't have a problem with the story itself or what I saw. I just felt like that would have had a better connection with the dream sequence. Because the film itself never acknowledged the dream sequence. And also I did like the fact that they paid homage to the Fastest Man Alive comic book store. When Flash Superman was racing Flash. But one, here's one thing that didn't get right. Superman was supposed to run, not fly. It's like a small little nitpick. I did like the score for this film. The score was just was above average. I and mean, when we heard the, the classic, the classic Batman theme, the classic Superman theme. Also, also I felt like the Flash's theme was quite similar to Grant Gustin's Flash theme in the show. Very similar, very similar. Almost identical. But other than that, I didn't really have a problem with the score itself. It, it just didn't resonate on me as much as the the score from Hans Zimmer or Junkie XL. The music for BBS and Man of Steel was so iconic that I felt like the score itself is a character. Guys, give me all your thoughts on Justice League. Comment below. And yeah, so guys, that's my review for, in, for Justice League. And I hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving. And I will see you guys after Thanksgiving. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you like everything you see and you agree, click right here. Join me and the Batman family. I'll have more Batman task of using the way you have been warned. Till then, happy Thanksgiving.